Hi and welcome to this video in which you will be introduced to MATLAB interface. I will try to make it brief and focus only on what you need to know before using MATLAB. This is how the software looks when you run it for the first time. As you can see this large area here is called a command window in which you can type the expressions and also show the outputs of the different variables. I can type a simple expression like x equals to 5 and enter another expression y equal to 6 I can add x plus y together so x plus y the answer is 11 all the variables I have just created are shown on what we call the workspace the workspace shows three different variables x, y, and a and s or answer. Answer is a default variable that is created to take any value that is not assigned to a certain variable. Down here we have the command history in which you can check the different command with the exact date. Here I have x equals to 5, y equals to 6, x plus y, and so on. If I want to clear the command history, just right click and select clear command history, which is the final option on this menu. On the left, there is the current folder, which is documents slash MATLAB. In this folder, we can save the different files that may contain functions, scripts, and so on, as we will learn in the course. Also, when importing files in MATLAB like Excel or TXT files, we have to make sure that the path here is passed to the folder that contains any file we want to import. We have up here three tabs, Home, Plots and Apps. Each tab contains several options and features. I will discuss them whenever we will deal with any of these features. In Home tab we can look at the layout. You can change the layout of the different windows from Layout. You can select from some different layouts, for example if you want to show the command window only which my layout for many tutorials in this course and also we can show the workspace. Or simply back to the default layout. If you want to increase the font size or check the different font options, go to preferences, select fonts and here you have the different font options, size, type of the font and also the font style. Finally, if you want to clear the command window, use command CLC and to clear the workspace type clear. 